Hi, I'm Kwai Chi and I am going to do a walkthrough review of FIFA Mobile. Uh, it's not FIFA Mobile 2017 or 16. Uh, they've dropped the numbers and it's now straight out going to be just FIFA Mobile. I don't know how long that's going to be for. I don't know if it's just an ongoing thing. Um, but it is a totally new layout of the game uh, compared to FIFA 16, Ultimate Team and FIFA 15. Now I was a massive fan of FIFA 15, I wasn't a huge fan of Ultimate Team. Uh, the game is currently on iOS, um, Google Play and uh, Microsoft Windows Mobile. Um, this is what it looks like, Okay, so you come into the splash screen and uh, it takes you to live events and uh, you've got loads of different things you can do uh, on uh, in the game um, there are loads of little challenges uh, and then there are things like uh, attack mode uh, leagues and there's a season so i'll give you a quick overview of what they are live events are little challenges daily challenges uh, and they're easy ways for you to level up and get a few coins and they're the they're one of the ways that you can unlock elite players. So there are four grades of players, they're bronze, silver, gold and elite players. Elite players are the top players that you can get um, and they all have stats on them and whatnot. Attack mode is this head-to-head uh, -head mode. Basically they've changed the head-to-head -head mode, it's not a live thing anymore uh, where you have really laggy play against someone else. Uh, now you actually play um, against computer basically um, and you compare scores. So I play a bit, the other person plays a bit, I play a bit, the other person plays a bit and then the total scores are aggregated and then you level up. Uh, then you have season. Season is uh, basically like your story mode, it's like your long mode to kind of play through the game um, and it's super easy but you know it's an easy way to get coins and uh, level up that kind of thing um, so I'll start off with live events let's uh, just go through it uh, they have seasonal things so uh, right now they've got screamers because it's coming up to uh, Halloween um, they've got team heroes which is uh, a way to get super super elite players um, they're graded basically from uh, 43 up to 99 at the moment uh, but uh, there's a possibility that the numbers can go even higher in the future. Uh, I've already completed a few here called scouting um, which you know you get some scouting tokens and then you can swap them in for other things. Uh, daily warm-up is like a super easy thing to complete. Training ground is another super easy thing to complete. Drills, it's so easy, it's unbelievable. Um, and Howlers there is another uh, seasonal thing to do with Halloween. Uh, the seasonal stuff um, and the Team Hero stuff tend to be the hardest things to complete. They're very, very difficult um, and you need a decent team in play. So uh, first off, I'll show you uh, the team layout. So this is my team currently. Uh, you have attack, midfield and defense. Um, and uh, you have a few different tactics that you can choose from attacking, balance, and defensive. So, currently, uh, I've set mine up for a 3 4 3 false 9 um, layup. And if I hit starting 11, you can see that only the active players are actually going to be in play. This is true for any mode of the game. Uh, so, if somebody's playing against uh, my team uh, as a computer, on the head-to-head -head. Uh, they will play the team that you've last selected as your kind of starting 11. <coughs> all the other teams all the other players in your team are fairly irrelevant uh, so one thing I found um, is uh, on the head-to-head -head, people you get matched up to uh, people of your similar overall uh, number your um, your rating so my OVR my overall rating is 59 it's super low but that means I get to play all the noobs which is great 
um, and I get to win a bit. But a lot of those noobs are pretty good too. Um, so I uh, spec'd up um, on a 3 4 three false 9, so I've got a guy on my left wing, right wing, uh, a striker, uh, got a couple of central midfielders, a left midfielder, right midfielder, and in defence I've got uh, uh, three centre backs and a goalkeeper. Uh, so in the middle here you can see that it's my only um, elite player. Uh, I did have more elite players, but oddly, some elite players are rubbish. You pay like twice as much uh, for these elite players than gold standard players, and sometimes they are utter rubbish. Uh, so I've actually switched back to some gold players. Uh, so on each of these people, um, they've got a, a set of stats um, for defence. Uh, you've got certain player attributes, uh, so the key ones... Uh, for a centre back and things like tackling, marking, strength, uh, heading is useful for corners. Um, and uh, for midfield, you've got a different set of stats. So if I look at Kante, um, you've got things like um, finishing, tackling, passing and long shots are super important for midfielders. Uh, and in attack, the stats are different again. Um, so you can see that you've got slightly uh, different things there like reactions, awareness. Um, I've just sold something, which is great. Uh, a little notification just came up. Let's go over to the favourite bit of uh, my uh, mode here, which is I've sold Romulo. Okay, so you go to the market and my listings oh wow he went really cheap so uh normally a uh, high specish gold player you'd expect to go for like twenty thousand or something so i sold this guy super cheap i didn't actually care the marketplace is the best place to spec up really really quick uh, you buy players you sell players um in the marketplace um and it's the best place to um, kind of level up. You buy players um, like say loads of bronze players and you can upgrade them into trophies uh, in plans. I won't go into too much detail here um, but it's one of the easiest ways to make money in FIFA Mobile. Uh, you get a load of players, you stick them in um, to your uh, set, your player trading you trade them in for a couple of trophies, you sell those trophies on the marketplace and you just keep doing that um, hundreds and hundreds of times and uh, you make a ton of money, uh, super easy. Or some people just buy players for a low price and then sell them at a slightly higher price. Uh, you just have to make sure you add on at least an extra 10% um, to cover your uh, fees that you have to give to FIFA football um, in the game. Um, I'll play a live event uh, just so that you can see what it's like. So um, this is a four star rated game which means it's quite difficult um, and uh, what do I have to do? Score a screamer or a trick to, to get a trick token, fine. Uh, this uses two stamina, the little lightning bolt and a two. Um, you can see at the very top of the nav I've got 20 out of 20 at the moment. I've got, um, I can play this 10 times if it was repeatable. I don't think this one is repeatable, normally it would say. So I'll just play this. Uh, it's taken two of my stamina. You can recharge the stamina with money. Um, I'm a freeloader though, so I don't pay uh, for free games generally. I like to try and play the games as they are. Um, okay, so I have to score into the goal, um, staying behind the white line. So in this game you just simply swipe um, to shoot uh, and you can change your direction. So I scored one screamer there. And try again and get it. I've got to get two goals. So the challenge here is to get two goals. Uh, this people is really annoying me. Okay, come on, dude. No, come on. Last go, last go. 
Come on, you can do it. No! I didn't do it! Get out! Come on! That's not fair. I'm gonna, I'm gonna play again. I'm gonna play again. I'm gonna do this. Alright. Here we go. Screamer time. Oh, no. You're gonna save everything now. Oh, get out. Who the hell are you? What kind of keeper is this? Oh my god, Zhang Cheng, who the hell is this guy? Oh wow, I, it takes rebound. That's so cheating, that's it. Right, that's it. Come on, get in the goal, get in the goal. Get in the goal. No! Okay, last chance, last chance. Oh, come on. <coughs> it's ridiculous. I hate this. I absolutely hate it. Come on, right. You're going to do it. One will go. One will go. I'm just going to have one will go. Okay. Stay composed. Shoot. Oh, come on. Oh, that's so lame. Come on, you can hit harder than that. Oh, not too hard. God. Ugh. Oh, really? It's ridiculous. Can't shoot. Oh, that's so lame. There's no shot power in that whatsoever. Okay, I'm I'm too lame, super lame. That's that's it. I'm not playing that one again. That's just a waste of my stamina, dude. That's just wrong. Anyway, um, the best bit of this game uh, is not all this bit of the game. It takes ages. You have to like, you get a token right, and then you have to go to your plans. And then you go, oh yeah, you know, uh, I've got an event, um, I've got one of those tokens. And you have to like collect 10 of those, right? So you use up like 50, 60 stamina, which means that you have to uh, wait ages between reloads of stamina. And basically takes you uh, a week or two to like collect 20 tokens, you collect them up and then you get a random player. It might be a good player, it might be a bad player. I prefer just to buy them on the marketplace. You tend to get a lot more bang for your buck. Uh, and as soon as I get a player in, I sell the old player on. Uh, at the moment, because I don't really care too much, and I'm not really worried about how much money I earn, uh, I'm just selling them really cheap on the marketplace and then just letting them go at proper auction. You get uh, an inbox. Uh, where it tells you um, your status of things at the moment. Um, uh, I've got lots of games uh, to play here. So I'm just going to go over to attack mode. This is my favourite mode, right? Attack mode is pretty cool. Uh, so here you can see um, I've my status on a few games here and it's currently my turn. I've got um, one bonus game here that I can play it was my turn, it was turn three, which means I started the game. Um, so I will score some goals and then the other person ha has a chance to score some goals. And uh, we see who scores more goals, basically. You can see that the rating is uh, 68 for attack, 71 for midfield, 69 for defense, um, which is rated overall better than mine. Um, but uh, my, my team isn't too bad. I'm fairly happy with it. Alright, so let's try live mode. Let's see if I can actually score. Uh, so there are a few different ways to uh, move around on here. I prefer the old kind of stick mode where um, you have uh, traditional controls. But I do quite like this uh, swiping thing uh, to uh, shoot. Um, because uh, trying to shoot with stick mode is pretty lame. You can't really see what you're doing. And if someone gets in my way, dude, that's it. I'm taking them out. So, um, come on, come on, come on. Over there, over there. Oh, come on. Really? Really? Okay. So with crosses and passes and stuff, you do exactly the same thing as shooting. You kind of um, swipe your finger. Oh, come on, you're so lame. Really? You hit that hard? Really? That's ridiculous. You're so lame. So lame. 
Ah, oh, and as soon as you lose the ball like that, you may as well just let it go. You, this is all about attack. Forget about your defence. The only reason why you buy defenders is so that the other person plays a harder compete. And oh! <laughs> See that? See that? That's how you score. That's how you score. Look at that. Plays it into Campbell. Takes it across. Across the goal. Across the goal. Come on. Boom! And again, oh, takes it on his left foot. Boom! Straight cross. <sighs> yeah, okay. That bit feels good. Um, the key I find to find the best players uh, on this game are to buy really quick players. It's the number one thing. I've had loads of different types of players. I've experimented, and basically everyone is lame apart from fast players. It's really difficult to play with slow players in this game. Defoe scores right in the corner. Same corner. Same corner. Same corner. Look at this. Crosses it over. Boom. Little short pass. Bang. Defoe, come on. That's so weird, right? I actually did an advert with this dude in real life for Adidas like 10 years ago, right? So crazy. And now he's playing on my game. You know, he's, he's, this is like, it's like the circle of life. Oh, really? Oh, you want to block that? <sighs> Two goals, man. This is ridiculous. This is so lame. Yeah, oh, really? You see that? The cook kind of curled it in. You can like curl your little line through. All right, boom, boom, boom. Yeah! Come on! Check that out, Bernardo. Whoever that guy is, I actually know half these players. Which I watch a lot of football, but obviously not enough. Look at that. Cross in. Jump straight up. Top corner. Boom. I think it's top corner. Is it top corner? Boom. Right past the keeper. Get out. Get out. Come on. And that's the end of the game, guys. I won 6-3. Yeah. So... You can see I've got two green ticks. The other guy's got one green tick. Or a girl has got one tick. I got an extra 10,000 fans. Uh, and I got 10 extra XP. The 10 extra XP allow me to level up. The coins allow me to buy people on the marketplace. Um, and uh, somebody else has challenged me, which is great. They've taken their turn. Uh, but if I click on here, you can see um, there's everything from amateur all the way to FIFA champion. So I'm currently on 721,000 fans. I need another 279,000 to see if I get to my million fans to reach legendary status. Um, now, there is a really fun mode in here, which is uh, league mode. I really do like this. Um, you have a league. I've joined the Hawaii League, I got married in Hawaii, so um, I'm just uh, looking through. This is a, a ranking of all the people in my league. Um, it's really good to join a league, super cool. Um, just find a, a team where everyone's quite active, because otherwise you will lose every time um, against other teams. So here you can play against other people in your league so I can just go play someone I can look at their team uh, and I can see head-to-head -head, um, what they've got in attack midfield and defense um, but the more fun thing there are two more fun things here which are the FIFA League Championship um, where can I even play someone here there's there's some random head here uh, where you play within your league in a championship this actually determines uh, the league ranking, um, uh, the order of people. So um, I haven't 
actually won any games yet so I'm ranked 9 I'm kind of halfway that's being very generous to be honest um, and then the really cool mode is this uh, this tournament mode against other leagues uh, and you basically get three turns and you can pick anyone from the other team to play against and you play against their computer side and their guys play against your computer side so if you've got a rubbish keeper, rubbish centre back, rubbish defence, rubbish midfield they'll score tons of goals against you um, and vice versa uh, and then you add all the goals from one side against all the goals from the other side uh, and then you come to the point where uh, one of your teams wins. It is incredibly fun. Um, uh, I don't actually have any games there to play, so I won't play one. Season mode is super easy. This really annoys me. Like Sometimes it's so easy, but they nerf the game, right? So there was one game um, where I drew, I can't remember who it was against, it was like... West Bromwich Albion or someone like that and it was such an easy game uh, and I lost uh, well I didn't lose I drew right which is kind of the same as losing because this game is so easy right I'll show you like this game is like you're playing against some of the best players in the Premier League um, their ratings are super high but for some reason you you know you can score like eight nine goals a game against this it's fairly pointless in my opinion which is such a shame it could be so much better it's just so easy uh, to kind of take possession of the ball and pass it around just as I say that I lose possession and uh, lose the ball um, and sometimes I just get bored and I just start hacking people's legs uh, you can get people sent off but they don't stay sent off after the game so you know it's not like a real season uh, if I get someone sent off now, um, Jesus, come on, give me the ball, give me the ball, that's it, run it, run it, run it, run it, run, 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 go, 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 go. Um, you can actually go left to right in here. Go. Uh, you can actually go um, right to left on this one, whereas the um, other mode, uh, the pretty much everything else. You're always going left to right. So you just get really used to playing left to right. Uh, so it's kind of weird playing right to left here. See that? You get some fast players, they can't catch you, you have three shots. Um, if you don't hit your sticks for a while, uh, really annoyingly, uh, it reverts to a swipe only mode where you can just like hold down the player and they kind of just Auto tackle them. Um, that was a bit close because uh, no one normally goes near my goalkeeper in season mode. And it's because I'm trying to talk, make some sense, and uh, play at the same time, which I'm not normally doing. Normally I'm on the train or something um, on the way to work and uh, I'm just playing. It's so easy to score, it's unbelievable. Look at this. It's just like no challenge whatsoever. I really wish it was more of a challenge. This could have been awesome. Season mode could have been really cool. It's just so easy. It's so lame. Like when I was playing with just bronze and silver players, you know, like really junior players, it was just super easy. You know, I just scored. I don't really care. It's, it's not hard. There's no challenge, uh, but you have to grind this out. One of the plans is to win um, Royce, uh, a 99 elite player, and uh, he's like, you know, the top rated player in the game. You can only get him through grinding out the game, basically. You have to get to the top level of every bit of the game, um, which sucks because I'd rather not play this at all. This this bit of the game really sucks. It's such a shame. It's so boring. It's like, I'm so bored. Look, I'm just swipey swipe. I've already won. Like, they're not going to score against me now. Uh, it doesn't matter if I uh, just give them up all the possession. I tell you what, I'll just score an own goal. I'm so bored. This game is so boring, I'm going to score an own goal.
Oh my, he, he can't even score his own goal. What the hell? Right, I'm going to score his own goal. How can you not score your own goal? How can you not swipe towards your own goal? I swipe right to left and it just ignored me. All right, I'm just going to run straight into my own goal. There we go. There we go. I gave him a goal. I had to walk into my own goal. Look at that. I had to walk the ball into the goal. Ah, oh, this game. So naff. Here. Pass, pass, pass. Just run the time down, man. It's just the easiest thing to do. Just give away possession. Just let the computer just do its thing. Practice a few things. Practice your long shots. It's just so lame. You know, just like click on the player. Oh, it's just so boring. Run, run down the field. Yeah, whatever. Just don't let it go off the pitch because uh, then the time stops and uh, then you have to play the game for a bit You just have to find it out for a bit longer. Just get a player, a slow player like Fred here, who's nice and slow. Just run all the way up to the other end of the pitch and just score a goal. Oh. Okay, okay, no re no replays. Okay, come on, let's just play it, just play, just get on with it. Come on. Just pass, pass, run, 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 pass, pass, run, pass, pass, yeah. Okay, fine, give him my possession. Oh, oh no, I won possession, doing absolutely nothing. Okay, right, fine, just pass it around. Here, keeper, you have it. Okay, I'm the keeper. Pass it out to my defender. I'll pass it out to another defender. That's exactly how England play. Okay, yay, game's over. I won 4 1. Hooray. Oh, it was actually an achievement to score an own goal. Okay, so I actually create, I achieved a milestone by scoring my own goal. That is just stupid. So here you can see um, I've got a a master pack. Uh, do I want to start next season in the same league? Yeah, sure. Goals and own goal. Great. Select milestone. Great. So this is the end thing. Uh, and uh, one cool thing about getting these tokens. Um, in the past, you'd have to go into your plans, find your tokens, and you'd swipe them up. Now you can just hit this little button. Um, and just add it to your plan and then it's away. That's so boring. Why did they create such a rubbish season mode? It should be difficult. They should have Champions League. They should. They could have done so much more with it. It's such a shame. One last place to uh, visit is the store. This is where you can um, bend over and um, ask how hard you want to take it because it is expensive. Um, you can send gifts to uh, other people as well in your league. Uh, you can select people and then um, you can send them uh, little packs or uh, gifts. Um, you can send them players. And it's just all kind of pointless. Uh, there is one more mode which is um, uh, playing against your mates. Uh, but Facebook uh, Connect doesn't seem to work 100% and so I can't find any of my friends on uh, FIFA Mobile anyway. So all kind of pointless. Uh, this game is super addictive though. Um, I just want to play this over and over again. Uh, the attack mode is awesome. Uh, I just love playing attack mode. I just want to play all the time. Um, and that's the mark of a great game. Uh, and I haven't got bored of it. I I've been playing uh, this game for a couple of weeks now. And it's just so addictive, love it. Um, and I can't wait to uh, get up the attack mode rankings and um, get to uh, the FIFA champion mode. I can't wait. Uh, but I've got a long, long way to go. So until that happens, uh, well, maybe I'll just keep playing it. Um, you do need internet connection and that's annoying. I hate that. I hate games where you have to have an internet connection 
um, because uh, I mainly play on the train and signal cuts in and out. They have fixed this weird bug where if you went out of connection, you just forfeit all your games. That was rubbish. Now it holds the status until um, you get connection and then you can connect and upload your points. So that's great, a big plus. I like the player system. I like being able to um, buy great players quite easily, um, but that is still enough of a challenge. Uh, and uh, playing against other real people around the world, that's a good challenge, it's fun. Uh, but there are lots of bits of the game that are a bit naff. But I do really enjoy playing. I do like the little swipe feature as well, which is very different from playing, say, the PlayStation version of FIFA 17. So, uh, out of 10, I give this game a 9! I'm quite cheap, until next time, take care.